This is going to take me a long time. <laughs> Dear Caitlin Ray, my love. Light up my soul every time I think of you. So my beloved first grade Sunday school teacher, Mrs. Daly, um, used to tell me to believe in what you pray for. Preston, I've prayed for you since before you were born. You see, when I was little, I prayed that someday I would have a daughter and I would get to plan a great wedding and she would get to marry her Prince Charming. As a little girl, I always had this big idea of love and what love should be. I always dreamed of finding a man who was kind, loving, and smart. You are all of those things and so much more than what I understood those things to be. You are my sunrise and the shining star. The last four years. have been the best years of my life. It's a monumental day. It's a special day. So I'd like to talk about, first, the first day I met Caitlin Ray. There's a lot going on at one time. And then next thing I hear is the sweetest sound I've ever heard in my life to that point in my life. That little baby cry. I walk over, I go to see my daughter for the first time. And it's that, that's something else. That eight pound, six ounce baby picking up for the first time. I put my hand on her chest and her little hand grabs my pinky. I start holding her like a football. And I said, baby girl, here's one, here's three things you're never gonna have to worry about. Your daddy will always make sure you're safe. Your daddy will do everything in his life to make sure you're happy. And your daddy will, you will never have to wonder if your daddy loves you or not, because he will show that every day. That he loves you more than anything in this world. you to marry me last year, I knew that you were the perfect woman for me. We have so many amazing adventures ahead of us, thinking of you being the mother of my children. It makes me the happiest person in the world. There is no one in this world that thought there would ever be a boy worthy enough to spend time with their daughter more than me. Nobody. But I want to tell you on that day, in May of 2017, not only did I meet a young man worthy enough to spend time with my daughter, but I met a young man who I'm glad my daughter is going to spend the rest of her life with. Cole, you are a blessing to our family. The fact that I get to call you my son-in-law for the rest of my life makes me so happy you have no idea. It is not easy for me to pass the baton to anybody to be the one that my daughter now lets to, to be safe. 
who my daughter now looks to when she's having a bad day, she needs a hug or a shoulder to cry on. It's not easy for me that when I know my daughter needs to be happy, she's gonna look to you first. And it, it is not an easy baton to pass, but I do that with you without reservation because I know you have a huge heart and you're a great person. And I can't think of anybody I would rather see my daughter spend her life with than Cole Walters. I, Cole Preston. I, Caitlin Ray. Take you, Caitlin Ray. Take you, Cole Preston. To be my wife. To be my husband. I, I promise to be true to you. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For good or for worse. So in sickness cold. and in health. Until death do us part. So if we can all raise our glasses and toast Cole and Caitlin Walters.